Hello and welcome to another Harry Potter Halloween come shop with me video kind of like what we did I'll link that one in the aboves um, but we're gonna be going to places looking for Harry Harry Potter Harry Potter uh, things that are new and Halloween things that fit into a Harry Potter Halloween I'm excited I had myself a couple Smarties already because I snuck some Smarties <laughs> so I got the sugar but we'll probably get a coffee at some point but we're set outside of a Walmart um, and I haven't been here in ages and I'm ready to go but before we do if you're new here and you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real hit that subscribe button oh my god I didn't even mention the main thing we're in a car <laughs> hit that subscribe button still but we are in a car because uh, we rented one we do not have one uh, on the regular or at all and we rent twice a year once for Halloween and once for Christmas so we're here for Halloween so we're gonna be hitting up a lot of places so let's go look you guys look who's on the screen do you see do you see who's on this one? All right, here's our first Harry Potter item. It is by Funko. It's called Popsies. And we've got Hermione. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> it's already on. Ready? And that was exciting. <laughs> it's only $6.98. I don't know what this is. Locker bedroom bundle. Is this a candle? Like a warmer thing? Well, it's 1997 when you don't know what it is. That's expensive. <laughs> okay, we're back in the car. Um, we did not get a lot of footage. I will say, as my husband just said, um, Walmarts are starting to feel like prison. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what the heck? Like, I feel like everybody's being watched and like nobody smiles <laughs> at all. Even the cashier we checked out, like, it, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just this one. We're going to go to some more. So I'm not letting that get in the way of my day. Um, but it's just a reminder as to why we don't go to Walmarts that often. Um, so there you go. All right. Let's head into Target and see what we see. All right. Let's head to Starbucks and get us a coffee. You know what I'm saying? All right. We found some Halloween. I've got a drink. What was this? Apple crisp oat milk something espresso. Shaken espresso. <laughs> And coming from Walmart, the lady at the register said that I am so beautiful, which made my day. <laughs> so I told her that. Um, so I'm in a better mood after that. I was in a good mood and then Walmart ruined it. So anyway, let's take a sip of this thing. Okay. I was like, there was no vegan oat milk, uh, not oat milk, um, spice. What is it called? Pumpkin spice. <laughs> option available so I wasn't sure I was gonna get that like seasonal vibe but I definitely did so yeah all right we have some like generic Halloween stuff it's not Harry Pottery but I thought I'd show you this is a like a family line that they tend to put out every year at Target um, so we got Jack Skellington although I have this sweatshirt from last year and I don't have the sweatpants they're pretty big <laughs> and they're rough no that's a no and some socks that is about it in this area. This is the home section at Target, which they normally make seasonal. So I'm gonna show you all of the seasonal items here that are Halloween-y and see if we can find anything that fits in a Harry Potter Halloween. Let's, let's take a look. I mean, this wreath could possibly work. I'm just skimming here because um, anything coffin related, I've been passing on. My husband's been saying it's not really, really shown in Harry Potter, so and it can feel a little muggly. Let's take a look around the other side. Okay, we've got a skeleton candle. We do have a cauldron. They've been having cauldrons every year. Firewood and patchouli. We've got little mini candles. I think they have a whole section over here. I've been eyeing those. I kind of like this. He talked me out of it because it's like a brownish color. Um, so it is autumnal and then I think this could work if I put it in frame. We got a little snake and it's got this little pokey business for the actual um, candle to go inside. So that could work. And then this is one I've really been eyeing. I have this in black and um, I got it last year from Target. But now they came out with this like bronzy color. I don't know what I'd do with it, but I like it. And they should have a smaller version of it, but it looks like not at this store. 
So we've got the autumnal colors going on up here. This is just like the adult home section. We're gonna go to the seasonal area. Um, but they come out with pumpkin candles every year. These are slightly different from last year. So we got some reds, orange. Actually, we got a lot of the Harry Potter colors. I mean, we have some fall with the orange, but this could be a good Hufflepuff color. And I was more iron, uh, <laughs> eyeing this Slytherin color, which there should be a larger one, but they're just kind of getting picked over pretty quickly. I do like this. Oh, oh it's plastic. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. What do we do? I did not see this. Okay, let me show you this. It's a very large cauldron and I don't think it's plastic. Let me show you. It's definitely a metal of some kind. It's got a proper handle. I really like the base of it. What do you think? I assume that could be cleaned up. It, I think we said, saw that it's 45. Is that what you said? Oh God, yeah, 45. This is in the threshold line. Let me back up. That's a nice cauldron. All right, we're heading to the Halloween section and I'm nervous because I'm seeing school supplies. Why am I seeing school supplies? Oh God, I was nervous about this. Okay, here, let's go down this aisle. So I was nervous because the Target near me didn't have stuff out yet and they were supposed to have it out um, by the end of last week. And this is literally the date that they had everything out last year and they have some stuff, but like what, what is happening right now, okay? We've got lights. Those tend to be the first things that they put out. Where are the lights? Oh no. <gasps> As my husband just pointed out, <laughs> the, the really annoying part is the Halloween stuff isn't even out yet and they've got Christmas stuff out. Look, we like Christmas. We're going to be celebrating it. But can we please enjoy some Halloween, okay? Um, we've got some cats. They always do like these throws. Um, which is, this is going to be too cutesy. This skull one could work. It's a little cutesy, but it definitely fits into a Harry Potter Halloween. We have a few of these, um, or just one. I'm not sure. So I don't know that we need any more. We've got a cat and a bat. Very fluffy one. Again, a little cutesy, but it is cute. It gives me Binks vibes. All right, here's the Harry Potter section. And this is going to be more geared towards kids, as you can tell. Um, but it's only a Target. I'm going to say right now, I think the robes, no, I'm going to say I know the robes at Spirit Halloween in the Harry Potter section for kids and adults are much better fabric, um, and much better quality. And honestly, the price is probably comparable, if not cheaper. And the scarves, I think these are cheaper. But what do you think? The patch is just kind of thrown on there but it is $10, so if you want a more affordable scarf, that could work. It's not super soft, it's a little like stiff, but here is Ravenclaw, no Hufflepuffs, the puffs got here already. And then we have Harry's glasses, they, they made them extra thick, and apparently that's supposed to be a scar. So, you know, um, interpret that how you will. Um, then I'm pretty sure they have this every year, it's just, a plastic version, a cheaper version, $10 of Harry's wand, and then more ropes. I'm pretty sure, what's this? A Nimbus 2000. Oh. <laughs> Again, if you're on a budget and you can't be dropping $300 on one, um, then I suppose it'll do the trick. For a kid, obviously it will, um, not for me. Okay, <laughs> we've got high standards here. All right, they have the candy section. I'm gonna say right now, all right, I'm throwing out my ideas, so I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Don't be stealing them. No, do what you want. Um, one of my ideas, and I don't think we're going to do it this year, is to either build a gingerbread house um, or get a, a set like this and do the Shrieking Shack. How cool would that be? Um, because I also want to do like maybe Honey Dukes for Christmas. Um, but, <laughs> but my idea is out there. This one is tempting. It's out every year. Slime Punch. What? Does it actually like... I'd have to check the ingredients, but which is brew? I don't know. All right, I did know about these, but I haven't seen them in the store. They are the Harry Potter um, Hershey's Kisses. They do have Harry Potter bars. Unfortunately, they have not come out with a dark chocolate vegan version, so I will not be getting these because like I say, in any time I mention it, which is not often, um, we love some animals and other reasons, but you know, I just wanted to show what's out there. 
Okay, I found their Halloween slippers. We've got some boo slippers. The trick ones are, are nice. I like the color combo there. Some cats, some black jack-o'-lanterns, and then these orange slides. Oh, we got a spooky. I don't know what to do. What do I do? I can only do small. My feet are like a five, six. All right, we're in the mystery section and I just found these, which are new. They are the Harry Potter collectible wands. They're clearly not like a full size wand. In fact, is there anything in this? Wow, these are light. I don't know if these are worth it. Here is what you can get. Let me get closer, but that's the whole thing. It is a mystery. I've got to say, I haven't been a huge fan of the mystery wands. These are probably lower on the list. And then I don't know what this is. Includes 10 collector's cards. So these are very chibi, obviously. So if you don't like chibi, that's not gonna be your thing. And I don't know, are these $3.99 or $5.99? Who knows, but there you are. All right, we have a few new things at Spirit Halloween. We've got this Expecto Patronum fleece throw. Let's get a closer look at it. Here is the material. It's very velvety. It's very like, like there's a layer of poof in there. And it's $32.99. Um, we've got this super plush throw with Hedwig on it and um, a Hogwarts crest. Let me flip that over. This one is $26.99. It's a different sort of make and feel. It doesn't have that extra padding like the other one. We have some scrunchies. They are house scrunchies. So you got a pattern on this side with every house and then you've got the plain. So if you wanted to put one in your hair, have one on your wrist, uh, you're good to go. Um, I don't think this Slytherin locket. So they have the Slytherin locket here. This one's out and about. Are they all like that? No. Um, actually, it feels like metal. So I don't know. It is $12.99. And we have the Nimbus 2000. Um, this is no Cine Replicas or um, what's the other one? <laughs> what is the other one? Noble Collection. Um, but, you know, if you want to put together an outfit and have that. And how much are you? $34.99. That's not too bad. Like, it's got a fair amount of detail for a, a plastic broom. Um, down here, I found some Luna Lovegood glasses. They look pretty similar to, actually, I don't remember where I got mine. These are $12.99. I don't know if it was Noble Collection or what, but there you are. All right, I saw this online, but never in the store. It's this VHS looking Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone, um, but it includes a lanyard patch, decals, and two buttons. It doesn't show us what they are. Wow, that's loud. And it's $14.99. It calls itself a collector's box. Okay, we're in World Market. Let's check out their Halloween section. All right, let's see if we see anything. We see spiders and pumpkins and cutesy things. Um, nothing is standing out over here. Oh, we got cards. We might have to do some cards. Ooh, look at that one. That's very Harry Pottery. I came here, they always have good cards here and we do them. Um, this is the one we did last year, sent to a friend. We've got some skeletons. How are you doing? What's going on? You having a good day? I don't know. They're dancing. What's happening here? <laughs> Look at them. Okay, anyway, I'm not seeing anything over here. There's another section. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, we got a boneyard section. Um, you could do a toad. We don't do stuff like this because that's just not how their skeleton would look. Okay, we keep it real on this channel. Uh, we don't do yoga skeletons whatsoever. Um, I don't hate this popcorn bowl. It's okay. I don't mind it. Uh, we got some candles. Ooh, I kind of like that. I was thinking about something like this. It moves around. Um, a candelabra for the dining table. Maybe we do that. This is one that's like really popular to get that is similar to um, Butterbeer. It is the Flying Cauldron. Do we get it? Maybe. It is vegan. I don't know about this pumpkin spice one. Haven't seen that one. 220, 2, 2, 2.29. <laughs> oh, that could work. These things down here. 
They're not my jam, but they could work. Okay, we stopped for a bite to eat at our favorite restaurant, at least for these stops. It's called Vertical Diner. It is a chain, it's at a few places, but let me show you our food. It looks so good. Oh my God. All right, we had some Virgil's root beer. Look at these nachos. There's jackfruit on there, or some kind of rice and beans and guacamole. Um, this is my mashed potatoes, some mac and cheese. Oh, your food hasn't come yet. A Caesar salad. Look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. There's a Caesar and croutons. So my food's here. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, we're creeping up on the Halloween section. Let's take a look here. All righty, Harry Potter section is the same. Nothing different there. All right, we're getting the Target selection. We've got the skeletons over here. It's still a little bare, a little bare bones, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> What the heck, Target? What the heck? Okay, they have the pumpkins that we got last year um, that we hung up just like we did for, just like we do for the floating candles. So I don't know if we're gonna get more, but these are the ones that we get. They're in the hide and eek section, $5. And they have three different faces. There's also like these medium sized ones. I think there's like a three tiered one. The, Tricky thing with these ones is the light doesn't go all the way to the top. Um, oh, here's the three-tiered one. So we had tested it and that light doesn't reach the top. Um, but maybe you can sort something else out. So I don't know. Do we want to get some of these? All right, here's their kind of cemetery section. Most of these things are not going to fit in because they're already, you know, set up to be for another theme, basically. Um, one year I hope to do something with a plain um, gravestone and make it more Harry Pottery. Okay, apparently there is a Hogwarts poster here. Where? Oh, it's right here. Is it actually here? Oh, well there it is. It looks like this. It's at Target for, are we $14.99? No, $6.49. Not too shabby. All right, we're in Home Goods, and I found this Raydon Polyjuice Potion Cauldron Mug. It's even got the ingredients on the back. I am not a Ray Dunn fan, don't care for that stuff, but I know some of you do, so thought I'd show ya. Okay, still at Home Goods, we found this Hogwarts bowl. It's like a salad <laughs> plate bowl, it's very shallow, and you got the crust on the inside. Quite colorful and only $5.99. Alrighty, we found the Halloween section at Walmart. What have we got here? I don't know. Oh, people looking. We've got wigs galore and other random things. All the costumey area over here. All right, we've got misters, we've got skeletons. Um, it's a lot of the filler stuff over here. All right, more Halloween. It is mostly hot garbage at Walmart, I'll say that. Um, add to it, it's just not a pleasant place to be. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, anything over here? I'm not seeing anything. We have got a Gryffindor backpack at Walmart for $24.99. It's no lounge fly, but it's not the lounge fly price either, so there you go. Just found these Harry Potter pants. Let me pull this one out. Hold on at Walmart. It's got a sort of like, I don't know what's going on with the top here. It looks like it's um, <laughs> underwear or something, but it is 10.98. It's got headwig, envelopes, and a golden snitch, and it's super soft. Um, so there you go, at Walmart. Okay, we're at another Target, hoping their Halloween section is stacked up. All right, are we filled out and seeing empty shelves? What is going on here right now? What is going on, Target? Why? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not seeing really. That is cute. Um, I do often get little Halloween bags. Oh, it's slightly tempting, a little cute though. 
I had a feeling we wouldn't be finding much at Target anyway, even if stocked up, because it's a lot of like, I must say it, stay at home mom vibes, okay? Um, not dark witchy vibes, but you never know until you know. All right, we found the Harry Potter section and it's mostly the same, except we have this only at Target um, Death Eater's Mask, if you want to call it that. It's definitely on the cheap side. It's bulky. Um, does it does does it do the job? I don't know. I'm not a fan, honestly. <laughs> um, and $25. No, that's a no. That's I do not recommend. Okay, no, not at that price. All right, here's an overview of the Hogwarts section at Box Lunch. I'm gonna give you a close up of some of the new things, although there's a lot of new things. Um, so let's start with Slytherin. We've got this jacket, um, proud Slytherin right here. And the shirts are also new and there's one for every house. So it's a Slytherin over there. And here is the base of that. Let me see how much this is. How much are you? $59.90 is about what this normally runs, and then the shirt is $34.90. So, there's Slytherin. I think these pajamas have been here before. I could be wrong. Here's the Gryffindor one. Um, what are these right now? What is happening? There's a little Hedwig inside this. Do you see that? They trapped Hedwig. I don't... It's almost like a fidget toy. This is the brand, anyway. Um, make of that as you will. <laughs> um, and then we've got this. Is this your last time? I can't remember. The Mirror of Erised necklace for $14.90. Um, oh, this is new. We've got a lanyard. It's just a place, uh, like a basic plastic base, nothing fancy there. But this is the strap on the lanyard. That's pretty cute. I'm trying to avoid more chibi stuff. Um, and it's, it's right there, but I think that's cute. And I think this is also new. It is a journal, planner, whatever you want to call it really pretty. It's almost like the floral ones. It's $16.90 and it has those dividers at the top. Let me open it. Here is the inside of this one. Okay, so the major new things here are these sweatshirts for sure. I know that this line dropped. Um, that is really pretty. It's just not the red I would normally go for. Um, but we got some floral situation and the Gryffindor in there. I like, if I could put this back, I like the Hufflepuff one more. It's more accurate to the color. I know they're trying to be playful here and kind of go a little off um, what we're used to, which is fine. Um, but it's the same floral pattern exactly as I'm seeing it, just different colors. So they went with the yellow instead of this color here. So that's a closer look of the color for you to see. And then these cardigans I think are new. It's really soft. Um, actually, how much were these? How much are you? $58.90 for that sweatshirt and hoodie. And then this cardigan. The Hufflepuff Badger is a little cute. I'm guessing they're all that way. Um, good golly, that is so soft. And we've got, oh, we've got the cup over here and a mandrake down here. I like the detail. What's over here? Oh, we got one of them scales over on that side. Sorry, I'm not pulling it out. It's just a little challenging. Um, but I'll try and show you every little detail. And Gryffindor, ooh, 30% off right now. Mm -hmm, excuse me. Um, that is just a tank kind of knit top. But here is the cardigan for Gryffindor. Yeah, it's that cutesy lion. Uh, we've got the Gryffindor sword over here. And let's see what's on the bottom of these. A snitch on that corner, and then Hedwig on this corner. And these are $64.90 for the cardigan. Um, I'm pretty sure these are like semi-new-ish. I don't, I just don't care for the cute lion. <laughs> um, and same for all of them. How much are you? 
$44.90. It's a nice material though. I like that. Here is the Hufflepuff one for reference. What else new here? This is also new. <laughs> Definitely not anything that ties like this is not something I'm gonna wear. Um, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, to be honest. What else we got? There's the shirts up top here. Um, here's Ravenclaw and their hoodie. That's a really pretty blue. All right, here's the Ravenclaw one. I think it's the prettiest color as far as like them going off color. Um, although the Hufflepuff one feels more accurate in color, but that's a really nice soft blue. So there's that one. So in each corner, we have something to represent. So we've got the diadem on the top left corner. And then over here, like I said, I don't care for the cartoon look here, otherwise I'd probably get one of these. And then the bottom corner, we have the prophecy orb to represent Sri Lani. And then the right corner is Miss Luna Lovegood's Spectra Specs, since she's a Ravenclaw. Again, these are super duper soft. We've got the Windbreaker Ravenclaw pockets, album things that come with a windbreaker. <laughs> Same sort of badge. And then there's the inside. And I'm pretty sure that is a raven, not an eagle. So apologies that that's not accurate or the way you want it to be. <laughs> okay. This is also new. It is a Deathly Hollows dress. It kind of like scrunches up on the sleeves here. It's got some buttons going up. Getting a real good chest shot there. Okay. <laughs> And for me, I'm 5'3 on a good day. It comes down to my white ankles right about there. And it's got a little belt tie, and it is $64.90. All right, I don't know if this is new, but I certainly haven't seen it in store. It is a Leaky Cauldron, what is this? Glass and Coaster. So there's the glass, that is interesting. And then the coaster is underneath there for $22.90. All right, this isn't Harry Potter specific, but it caught my eye because it's a cauldron lip balm. Look at that, green apple scented lip balm, and it glows in the dark. So I think the green portion glows in the dark, and it is $5.90. That's kind of tempting. All right, it is dark in here. These are dark times, but we have found the Harry Potter section. I have already shown you um, these cardigans. Uh, I will show you real quick <laughs> a new item. It's a sneaky peeky. We might be getting it, a little advent situation. We got some fuzzy socks, they're new. <laughs> you just said yes. So the emblems on the bottom, they're long, really soft, really fuzzy. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And how much are you? $12.90. Okay. All right, so another new item. Um, Hot Topic and Box Lunch have these planners with a little divider, but this one is really fitting um, as the Daily Profit because it says Daily P at the top. Let me show it up close. There's the tabs and the whole planner. Dark Mark Sparks Panic. And there is that, and it is $16.90. Okay, let me take you walking. Um, I don't know why I'm slightly tempted by this guy. <laughs> I think because he's gold. Look at him. Are we friends? I like that he's gold, like he would pop. He'd be popping that skelly. Um, Cause we do play with gold a little bit. Oh my God. Dropping frames all over the place. We play with gold a little bit in a Harry Potter Halloween. All right, we're in the costume section. What are you doing, buddy? What is happening right here? Hey. <laughs> okay. Well, friends, I think that is everything for the Harry Potter Halloween hunt, Harry Potter hunt, hunting for all things Harry Potter and Harry Potter Halloween. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to head home. I'll get some sleep and then I will wake up tomorrow and we'll do a little hauling. Okay, so stay tuned. Alrighty, we are back. It is another day. I am fresh and ready to show you some things. I will say we haven't, we haven't, we didn't pick up any Harry Potter specific items. I don't think. We'll find out when we get in here. Um, but we got some really cool ones and one really, really cool item. So let's just get into it. If you recall at Target, at Target, we saw a cauldron um, that I hadn't previously seen at any other Targets that I've gone to. And it looks like this. We have been wanting a cauldron 
um, of a decent size, you would agree, like of this size, not just a small one, because we, we've come across small cauldrons. I feel like it's giving me an echo, echo. <laughs> um, we've come across ceramic cauldrons at Michael's and like glossed over ones at Joanne, but metal ones that actually feel like if you're in the world of Harry Potter, they would be metal, like cast iron. Is this cast iron? So apparently it says iron on the website, not cast iron specific. It kind of feels, it definitely feels like metal, okay? And it's a really, really good size. It's got the little feet on the bottom there. We've got the handle and here's how it connects on the sides. And so, I looked it up because um, like I said, I hadn't seen it at any other Target and I wanted to know if it would be available for any of you that might be interested. Checked online and it is online, but it's not available to buy online. It's not available to pick up in the store. So you're basically really lucky if you find it in the store. And um, I didn't th think I had much luck, but we, we got lucky that day. Um, so, and, oh, and the other thing that it said is that it is food safe, which is really interesting. I don't know that we'd be cooking anything in this thing. <laughs> um, as of right now, we might put candy in it. I'm also thinking of like just having it out all year round, maybe putting some blankets in it, like it's almost a basket, but it's a cauldron. I don't know, we'll see when we get to the decorate with me, but that feels like the most Harry Potter-esque item, but still Halloween. I think this is the only other thing that we got at Target. Um, and I didn't show it to you. I had actually picked it up at a Target local to me. I wasn't filming at the time and I'm glad I got it then because I don't think we saw it at any other Target and we went to like three or four and it's this pillow. It's a really interesting texture, the pillow, kind of like some spotted situations, but it's got like a little tug effect, almost like, um, what are those things called? Those uh, hanging, like wall hangings that are um, knit. It gives me that feeling. But at first I was kind of hesitant. I don't tend to do like skull and crossbones because it gives um, pirates vibes. But my husband was saying, so I was messaging him that this does kind of give more of that like poison vibe, like, um, you know, poisonous um, potion or <laughs> ingredient or something like that. So we felt like in that particular case, this one could fit into Harry Potter. So we got it. Oh, and the cauldron was 45. So if ever you do come across it, that's how much that goes for. I don't know how much the pillow is, um, but that's probably available online. All right, let's get into, it's just random stuff. This might seem like a weird thing, but if you watch any Halloween people, more often than not, they are Holland's and Bath and Body Works products. And we went to Bath and Body Works. I also didn't film that one, um, but I've got these items. I've got, is that right, grammar? <laughs> I got these items um, just here and there as well as when we went out. And normally for a lot of like um, bath products, cleaning products, we do stick to like, I mean, I think it's fairly clean, um, but clean, um, you know, reusable, as eco-friendly as we can afford and um, find. Um, so this is kind of like a treat yourself whenever Halloween comes around and Christmas comes around, we treat ourselves to these um, like foaming soaps is one of the ones that we always get. So I tried to stick with ones that both we like the scent and it felt like it would fit in. So that's autumn foliage. Then we have spellbinding sweets. The ghosty's a little cutesy, um, but I feel like the color, I mean, green, Slytherin. And then a vampire blood. Vampire blood is one that comes around every year and I really like the scent. Um, and there are vampires in Harry Potter. And then we got one candle. They were having a lot of sales and it was $10 off the candle. And it is this pumpkin carving candle, which is also a scent that comes out, I think pretty much every year, but the packaging that it comes in differs every year. And the reason that, I mean, A, it's a pumpkin, it's a jack-o'-lantern and that fits into um, Halloween. It's a white candle. And what is the scent? Scent of, is it actually? Yeah, it's like a pumpkin-y, clovey scent is it's like a stained glass look. So I felt like with the stained glass that we see in Harry Potter, um, it can it can kind of tie in that way. And then this might seem boring, but we got, we're only trying these out this year, partly because we wanted one of these next to our cat's litter box. <laughs> and those are the, what are they called? Wallflower plug-in things. There's scents that you plug into the wall. Like I don't normally do sprays in the air or anything like that. Um, but we like the idea of something sort of 
covering that up, even though we, you know, properly scoop it and everything. Anyway, we got a bunch and this one is Moonlit Graveyard. So you're not really gonna see the color. We did go for a Halloween-y plug-in and we'll probably change it up for Christmas time. And then I got some lip gloss. I always grab a lip gloss. It's the Vampire Blood again. And then these I just get all year round and they are the Diamond Shimmer Mist. I might do like a short or a video or something on, um, I wanna do one that's on like ways to add magic to your life. And I feel like putting glitter all over your body is one way to do that. So I do it every day. Um, so maybe you'll notice I put it on my arms, I put it on my, my chest, <laughs> all the places, okay. All right, then I got me, again, it's not really Harry Potter, but it's Halloween, some headbands. This one is from Old Navy, it's a bat. I'm trying to keep to anything that could fit in world. I got this one, I'm pretty sure from Target. I don't normally do these knotted situations, but I'm branching out. Um, and then, like I said, that bat, which was from Old Navy. All right, also from Target, as you might have seen, I wasn't hugely impressed with with Target selection, at least for like Harry Potter stuff. Target is very cutesy and really weird. Like um, the ones we went to weren't completely filled in, but I've watched some people go and they have like a um, rainbow colored line. It's like a pastel rainbow colored line, like gravestones that are, no, no. <laughs> so, I mean, it's for somebody, I guess. Um, but we just got more of these pumpkins. They're just plastic pumpkins. They're lightweight. They have, I think, is it LED on the inside? It does not say. Um, it is LED. It's a little light. They're battery operated. And what we use them for, which I think I probably have mentioned it in my Decorate With Me video that'll be coming out eventually. I'm just actively filming it is um, we hang these up in replacement of our floating candles. So it feels like the hulls of Hogwarts when those are out there. And we thought we might need a few more because we're gonna put them up in, in, an, in an additional area. This is just a basic thing. So we had a crap ton of hot cash from Hot Topic. What is it called, box lunch money? Yeah, so the hot cash is like, it's 15 for every 30. So as long as you match that number, it's basically 50% off. Um, so we did end up spending like double that amount to get 50% off and use our full amount. Both places didn't have as much as we wanted to get, but I feel like I've noticed that every time it's like box lunch um, and Hot Topic cash season, that stuff gets really picked over fast. So I don't know if you just gotta get in there, but anyway, um, it's just a little skirt that I got and I picked it up. So I really liked, uh, they're, what are, they, are they called tulle, tulle, tulle? I think they're just called tulle, T-U-L-L-E. Like those ballet style skirts. I actually have one on now and it's one, it's one from Spirit Halloween, but I have wide hips and I feel like it makes my hips look wider. Whereas this one, I mean, it's very comfortable. It has a slip underneath that kind of hugs you. And um, it just feels more, it's not poofing out as much. And it gives me like Sally vibes from Nightmare Before Christmas for some reason, but I also think it's very witchy. So I feel like it can fit in Harry Potter and I could definitely see some outfit ideas with that one. So another clothing item that I got, where was this from? Hot At Hot Topic is this cardigan. I'm pretty sure they had another jack-o'-lantern cardigan that I wanted and they only had one in stock, unless it was this one, I don't know. Um, but this was an item that I was like, you know what, why not? Cause we're trying to reach that top amount so we could use all of our money and get 50% off. Um, and it's just jack-o'-lanterns. I like the inside. It's not reversible, but when you see it, it will pop, which is kind of nice. So it's not like they forgot to do anything on the inside. It's well thought out is what I'm saying. So I feel like it could fit in a Harry Potter just because jack-o'-lanterns fit in a Harry Potter. And uh, yeah, that's all she wrote, okay. Then I think the last thing as far as the mall, uh, cause we went to other places beyond the mall, uh, is we did pick this up that I would have shown you. It is this cauldron lip balm that glows in the dark. So all the green and the drippy, I'm assuming just all of the green glows in the dark. And the way these lip balms work is this part opens up. So I've pulled it out. Here's the top. It's just a little cauldron. How cute is that? So then basically, I don't know what the scent is. Green apple, that's perfect. Oh, and it's actually green. So you just kinda stick your finger in there. I might have to like dig at it. What does it look like? 
All lights out. Um, is anything happening? So it's around the bubbles. That's what I was seeing before. It's not all of the green. So I guess it's almost making it look like it's just, you know, brewing. So I think the next things we have are, where's this from? Like TJ Maxx and World Market, I think. So if you remember from the Wizarding Trunk store unboxing or haul, I picked up uh, the Sirius, Sirius Black's mother portrait where she's screaming um, and I needed to get a frame. So we ended up picking up two, although I think it's gonna be pretty clear which one we use. Um, I picked up this one. It's just a basic black uh, with a little bit of a gold, more of a wood color trim. I mean, it might work for some other things because maybe we don't want to go like exaggerated on the outside for every frame. Although that is how a lot of Harry Potter stuff is. So this might end up being too basic. Um, could always bring that back. And then, oh, this is Home Goods. Okay. And it was $12.99. Look at this. So it feels like, would you say Victorian? It's giving me Victorian vibes. And she feels like she could have grown up then. Um, but we wanted embellishment. We weren't sure if we were gonna do black, wood, gold, um, any of that sort. But it's an eight by 10 print. So we found this frame that is an eight by 10. The last three things we have are from World Market. So the first one that I picked up, I would like something a little bit fancier than this but I wanted some trays and maybe this will end up being like Christmas, but I might be able to work with it in Halloween. We'll see. I was trying to pick the best one because they all have scratches. So maybe in that way, I don't highly recommend, but looking at it in the camera, you can't tell. So this was $7.99 um, and from World Market. So it's basically a large trinket tray. You could put candles on it um, and all sorts of random things. Okay, and then we got this here. How much was this? $24.99. Where's the front of it? This is also like a trinket holder. I've actually been wanting something like this for a while. So it opens up that way. And I feel like you could do a variety of things. The obvious thing I think would be like crystals, gemstones, that sort of thing um, on each layer. You could even maybe do like oddities and relics that are really small and would fit in here or a combo of both. So I picked this up because I felt like, I just felt like it can work all year round. It can work in Halloween time. And definitely we go, we go more gold in Christmas time. So we could work there as well. And then this last item is one that I was looking for specifically and um, not this specific one, but I was looking for a candelabra close chandelier candelabra I don't know it is a candelabra because I wanted which keeps coming undone I do like that you can unscrew it and it will um, close a little bit so it's taking up less space with storage and it also just gives you an option for how you want your candles to look but it's just a basic black candelabra for 30 bucks <laughs> Um, we got 25% off of this though. We learned that you need to use your app to be checking for coupons. I didn't know World Market did coupons, but anyway, I was looking for a centerpiece of some kind for my dining table. Um, I will get into that. I had different plans and then we had to change plans. Um, we'll share all that in the decorate with me. So I'm going to be working off of this, I think. Yeah. So we'll see. But anyway, like I said, it's not like a lot of Harry Potter specific stuff, but I'm really pleased with everything. I was kind of looking for more filler things. I wasn't really looking for clothes, but I'll take them. So stay tuned. As of right now, the Decorate With Me video is planned to come out um, following this video. Um, and I'm very, very excited to show it to you. It's not gonna have the reveal. I'm gonna talk about that in there, um, but it's gonna be a come hang out with me. Let's decorate, let's use all these things. Um, and uh, yeah. I'm so excited, but until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in that decorate with me. Why did I just say it like that? Me. <laughs> Bye.